On the evening of August 25th, 1959, the great American jazz trumpet player Miles Davis was having a cigarette outside of the Birdland Jazz Club on a set break. A rookie New York City Police Department cop approached him and told him he couldn't stand there. He needed to move on. Miles would respond, move on for what? I'm working downstairs, that's my name up there, Miles Davis. And I pointed up to my name on the marquee all up in lights. He said, I don't care where you work, I said move on. An altercation ensued. The cop began beating Miles and was soon joined by another police officer who attacked Miles from behind with a baton, leaving him bloodied and bruised. A week prior to this incident, on August the 17th, 1959, Miles Davis released Kind of Blue, a brilliant modal jazz and hard bop record which would go on to become the greatest selling jazz record of all time, and arguably the greatest jazz record of all time. Which is a bitter pill to swallow, because white musicians aren't beaten by cops when they release best-selling records. Led Zeppelin was not beaten after releasing Led Zeppelin IV. The Beatles were not beaten after they released Sgt. Pepper's. Britney Spears wasn't beaten after releasing Baby One More Time. The very thought of that is surreal and horrifying. Almost as horrifying as how Bud Powell, the most influential jazz pianist probably of all time, was beaten by Philadelphia cops in 1943 into unconsciousness and never fully recovered. You will be placed under arrest and charged with disorderly conduct. On April 4th, 1968, Senator Robert F. Kennedy delivered the news of Martin Luther King's assassination to a bereaved crowd in Indianapolis. And in the speech that he gave off the cuff, he quoted the Greek playwright and poet Aeschylus. My favorite poem, I My favorite poet was Aeschylus. He once wrote, even in our sleep, pain which cannot forget falls drop by drop upon the heart until in our own despair, against our will, comes wisdom through the awful grace of God. Wisdom through the awful grace of God. What a line. Have you gotten any wiser since then? Against our will comes wisdom through the awful grace of God. This surreal horror continues today for black musicians. The jazz trumpet player Christian Scott Atunde Ajua told his story on NPR Tiny Desk of when he was extrajudicially attacked by police. You know, the song was written after an experience I had in my native New Orleans with a group of police officers, pulled me over one night, uh, pulled a gun on me for no reason, basically told me to strip down and lay on the ground and to, I guess, let them do whatever they wanted to do. Um, I hadn't done anything wrong. I was coming home from a gig with a band called Soul Live. He told me, again, he was the authority I was supposed to listen, and that if I didn't comply with what it was he was telling me, that my mother was going to have to pick me up from the morgue. Against our will comes wisdom through the awful grace of God. All of American popular music from the past 100 years, be it jazz, rock, pop, soul, blues, hip hop, etc., is black American music. Music first conceived by and born from the experiences of great black American musicians. These musicians like Jimi Hendrix or Charles Mingus or John Coltrane and Miles Davis are all heroes of mine because they were able to achieve musical greatness while living under the specter of police brutality and systemic oppression. And that specter has never gone away. I am honored to play black American music. It has made me who I am. It is embodied rhythm, embodied melody, embodied sound. It is powerful, it is beautiful, and it resonates with us all. It is for everybody, which is why it's so popular. But I'm privileged to be able to play black American music as a white musician because I don't have to face the same specter that Miles Davis did or that George Floyd did. (sighs) Against our will comes wisdom 
through the awful grace of God. Humanity was lucky that Miles Davis survived his encounter in 1959 because he would go on to release another 30 years of incredible trailblazing music. Like, for example, Bitches Brew, which he released in 1970, considered the definitive jazz fusion masterwork. The cop that attacked Miles Davis was never tried. In fact, his obituary never mentions the fact that he came this close to erasing a good portion of 20th century musical history. We were very lucky. And so, in the name of Black American music, this thing which means so much to me, and I'm sure it does to you too, this thing for which the world would be impoverished without, this thing which has united the world in music for generation after generation, this thing which makes us feel more human, now is the time to ensure that everybody survives their encounters with police, and not just the lucky. Black Lives Matter. Team store as well, there's pretty much nothing left in there. We got people playing pianos inside this building, the, the window's gone.